Hey guys, welcome back to Jurassic Collectibles. So look, a parcel has arrived. Let's see what's inside. Hey guys, I hope you're all doing really well. Uh, this is gonna be a bit of a talky video. Um, this particular item is very me. Uh, I'm very much a big fan of Jurassic Park and the production history of Jurassic Park. So um, if you don't want a long story, then uh, this might not be the one for you. But I've got my tea here. Let's have a little sip. So going back to the early days of the channel, uh, you may remember that I managed to obtain a casting of the baby Velociraptor maquette. The one you see uh, in Jurassic Park that was actually cast to make the puppet, the actual animatronic puppet that Stan Winston Studios produced. Well, I obtained this casting and I had a dream to realise that as an actual um, piece that I could have on my desktop that would have the baby raptor in the egg covered in blood just how it looks in the film um, as a display piece and I managed to realize that dream uh, via a very talented sculptor painter based in Mexico unfortunately the piece came shattered and uh, that was heartbreaking but um, I managed to repair the piece and put it together and I did a whole video on that link is down below if you want to see how it turned out and uh, how I repaired it um, that's quite a talky video too, uh, but I was over the moon to actually get it back to looking like a presentable piece. And uh, yeah, I'm still pleased with that to this day. It looks like something that literally has come straight out of the film. My only regret in doing that is that after making um, that piece, um, or commissioning that piece, uh, the castings for the baby raptor maquettes pretty much vanished off the face of the planet and became really rare. And um, last time I saw them, um, going for over $600, I believe. Um, and that was kind of the casting in its very kind of straight tail form. Um, the one that I'd obtained with the arms and the legs. So, uh, that was my only regret because for posterity I wanted to keep uh, the casting before I altered it, if that makes sense, to kind of keep that production history. So that was my only regret. Then, later on, I managed to obtain a production used casting which actually was painted um, and created at Stan Winston Studios. Um, it had um, its foot was snapped off and its leg was broken on one side, but it doesn't matter because the detail was absolutely stunning. And I've done a whole video on that one. Link is down below uh, from the production of Jurassic Park. And I can't believe to this day that I own something so incredibly unique and beautiful uh, from uh, Jurassic Park. So, um, so I managed to obtain that. So in a way, I sort of went back to actually getting something from the production itself and sort of holding on to that history. Well, flash forward to a couple months ago, um, I saw the work of this guy, Chris Ruprecht of Jurassic Creations. I'll put his email down below. And he was um, sculpting in 3D the Velociraptor hatchling. And uh, he was basically making 3D prints of the Velociraptor hatchling. Uh, based on scan data and getting the detail as nice as he possibly could and I was really impressed with his work and uh, he's he's going to be doing just a limited like fan run of those again email is down below but I was interested because obviously he'd obtained that scan data from somewhere and I was wanting to know where the casting came from that they got the scan data from and Chris said to me well actually I, I, I do have castings of the original baby raptor and I thought great okay I've found a source and Chris was kind enough to offer me a casting of the original baby raptor now this one's posed so this is different to the maquette that I got originally that I made uh, my raptor in the egg out of this is actually cast off a Stan Winston maquette that was posed and went on sale in a profiles in history auction a few years back and you may have seen it because the baby raptor hatchling is stood up uh, in its full form and it has like a greenish paint scheme which looks more akin to how they appear in the film when they're lit. Um, so it's quite a unique piece and it comes from Stan Winston Studios, it's official. And this is in here a casting of that maquette. Now I asked for the maquette to come in its rawest form, so arms, legs, body, all separate. And that's how I'm going to keep it. I like to 
keep the history of these pieces as much as possible and for posterity I want to hold on to original castings and I don't mind that it's posed because it's come off a Stan Winston production piece but it's the whole body and it's separate and it's here. Now uh, if you're familiar with Jurassic World obviously you've got Baby Blue now but if you were part of the Jurassic Park generation you remember actually the Baby Raptor hatchling was the uh, the original cute one. And uh, the fact that it was this tiny little hatchling, you know, it was adorable. Now, I am using a craft knife, kids. If kids are still watching and they haven't fallen asleep, then uh, well done. But I do like having a good old natter to you, the fans. And uh, if you enjoy this video, let me know. Okay, I haven't had this feeling since, what, 2009, 2010? When, when I got the, the casting last time. Not the same one, obviously. Uh, but this, already I can see it poking through and it looks amazing. Thank you so much to Chris Reprecht again. I'll put his email down below. He's a really talented sculptor and painter of dinosaurs and he's going to be making these painted full body versions like this one, but from digital scans. Here's Chris's business card. This looks like his original work here. This sculpted Consognathus. It looks amazing. Look at the eye, it looks like a real lizard, that's fantastic. So yeah, definitely get in touch with this guy if you're after a paleo sculptor, painter, or you're after the digital version of the maquette that I'm talking about. And I think Chris was a bit like, what well, you want the original casting, not my really nice cleaned up version. And I was like, yeah, I want the warts and all version <laughs> because, uh, because obviously of my history that I've just described. And oh wow, oh man, this is amazing. So, um, alternatively, if you are looking to get uh, the Raptor in the Egg, interestingly, uh, Chronicle Collectibles uh, are making um, the Baby Raptor in the Egg, and that's on sale at the moment. I don't want to exclude them from this conversation. Um, but Chris, you've done a fantastic job casting this one up. Yeah, I'm certainly taken back to uh, when I first held the casting in uh, 2009, 2010. And this thing looks gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. I'm just really pleased to have this in its kind of um, isolated um, casting form rather than kind of assembled and modified. Um, I know you've done some cleanup on this, Chris, but not, uh, you know, only to fill any kind of voids or holes caused by the casting process. So, um, yeah, this is really nice to hold and to kind of. Think of um, Alan Grant in, um, in Jurassic Park when he's holding the baby raptor. You can kind of uh, imagine him doing that. Pretty cool. Very well protected, Chris, thank you. Okay, so I'm gonna carefully remove these little bits because they're really fiddly and fine. And we had a bit of back and forthing on these, especially the arms, because I know, Chris, they were hard to cast because they're so fine. So here's the first leg, very very nice. So this is pretty much how they came uh, when I got the casting in 2009-2010 and um, yeah it was really cool to see them then but it's really nice to be reunited with them in their raw form now. Love all this creasing detail, really cool. Very nice indeed. And then we've got the arms, very, very fiddly little arms. You can see all the nice creases and little bits of sinew between the fingers. Very, very nice. I should probably explain why it actually comes in separate pieces and it was simply to aid in the molding and casting process. Um, the limbs were essentially cut off and then uh, molded separately. Uh, just so that you didn't have to make a very complex mold. Uh, if you had to make a mold with the arms and the legs attached, you'd have to make loads of separate pieces that all come together. Um, it is possible, but it's just really complicated. So in order to make things more like two part simpler molds, uh, you actually break off the limbs and then cast those separately. And uh, they do all fit back together. So if I take the, the leg, for example, here and put it on here, it would be a simple case of attaching the leg there and then using maybe some filler putty uh, around the seams and you'd get uh, you know a complete uh, baby raptor 
So um, yeah, it does all go back together nicely. Um, if I did ever want to uh, assemble this in the future, um, I could actually do that. But I've already done that with my um, Baby Raptor hatchling, but uh, just so you're aware of the process. As you can see, the tail is really curved. That's how it appears in the maquette. So I'm happy to have a kind of a legitimate uh, casting um, of, an, of a maquette that's, that's maybe been posed. So thank you so much to Chris uh, for doing this for me. Uh, it's really great to be reunited with these castings. And uh, yeah, it's amazing, it's a bit of history. I think I'd like to mount these on a piece of um, uh, plywood uh, with some struts maybe coming up so they kind of look like they're floating in space with the legs apart and the arms apart so you can kind of see the the construction process behind it so it's kind of true uh, to how it comes in pieces and uh, I think that would look really nice with some of my other maquettes which are also primered like this and thanks again Chris for primering this piece um, yeah I think it's really fantastic and uh, a really nice piece of history Okay guys, uh, sorry if this one has been a sort of a very talky video. Uh, for me it was important to explain why this is significant and what it means to me. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Rate, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.